In this video I want to show you how to factor fully, if possible, solving all these questions. So I have 14x squared plus and uh, 14x squared y plus 16x y cube. So I start from the numbers first. So as you see here, the, the GCF for 14 and 16 is just 2. The GCF for x squared and x, as we said earlier in other videos, we need to use the variable with the smallest exponent. So here we have 1, here we have 2, so it has to be the 1. y cube and y, I need to use y. 14x squared y divided by 2xy will be 7x. 16xy cubed divided by 2xy will be 8y squared. Next one, 10k cubed m squared minus 6k squared m squared. 10 and negative 6, the GCF will be 2. k cubed and k squared will be k squared, the smallest exponent m squared and m squared will be m squared so I have 10k cubed m squared divided by 2k squared m squared will be 5k negative 6 negative 3 k squared m squared will be the same so we have 5k minus 3 next one 8 s squared y plus 11 t cube 8 s squared y plus 11 t cube in this example i cannot do any factor so i leave it like that next one 66 c to the power of 4 d e to the power of 2 minus 22 c to the power of 2 d e to the power of 2 first of all 66 and 22 the GCF is 22. C to the power of 4 and C squared, the GCF will be C squared. D and D, just D. E squared and E squared, the GCF will be the same. So 66 C to the power of 4 D E squared divided by this expression, 66 by 22 divided by 22 is 3. C to the power of 4 divided by C squared is C squared. D divided by D is 1. E squared divided by E squared is 1. Negative 22 divided by 22 is just 1. I don't need to write it down. And the rest of it is going to be make it just 1. So that will be the answer. Next one will be 7GH plus 2MN minus 13PQ. So it's definitely it's not possible to factor it. Because different numbers, different variables, and there is no GCF for these two no three numbers. Just one. Next one is 5FG squared minus 25FG plus 20F squared G. So the GCF for all of them is 5F and G. 5FG squared divided by 5FG is just G. Negative 25 negative 5 fg divided fg is nothing and here i have 20 divided by 5 is 4 f it would be like that next one is 27 r squared s squared minus 18 r cubed s squared minus 36 r s cubed so these three the gcf of these three is 9 r squared r cube and r so the gcf will be r s squared s squared and s cube the gcf will be s squared 27 r squared s squared divided by 9 r s squared will be 3 r negative 18 r cube s cube s squared is negative 2 r squared negative 36 r s cube divided by 9 r s squared will be negative 4 Yes. That will be the answer for this one. 4, next one, 4n squared p cubed plus 10n to the power of 4p squared minus 12n cubed. p squared, I can write 4, 10, and negative 12. The GCF is 2. 
uh, m squared m to the power of 4, m to the power of 3 will be m squared p to the power of 4, p to the power of 2, p to the power of 2 is going to be p squared. So 4 m squared p cubed divided by this one will be 2p, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and to the power is m squared, this one is going to be 1, negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, yeah. that will be the answer for this one. So that's basically a different kind of factoring for different kind of expressions.